In today's lesson, students will be studying catapults. These devices were important weapons used by early Romans and other military units. While walls around a city were strong defense, the Romans developed a catapult that could launch heavy rocks and damage them. To build a simple catapult, attach a bottle lid to the end of a popsicle stick with a piece of double-sided mounting tape to make the launcher. The base consists of a pine wood either 2 by 4 inches or 4 by 4 inches. Teachers may need to help secure two hook screws into the board. To do this, select two positions about 12 centimeters apart on the board for the hook screws. First, hammer a large nail into the wood for a few centimeters, then remove the nail. The opening will allow the screws to start going into the wood. Continue turning the screws until they are securely screwed into the wood. Place a heavy-duty rubber band around the two screws. The success of the catapult depends on the base and the bar being unmovable. A clamp may be needed to keep the board from sliding when launching the marshmallow missiles. The catapult used in this video works well without the clamp. The students will place the launcher between the rubber bands with the open bowl facing away from them. They will start rotating the launcher toward them until they have twisted the rubber band tightly. A pencil or marker will be placed through the two circular openings of the hook screws and the other objects will be used to fill in the space if needed to make the bar rigid. Students will then place a dry miniature marshmallow in the cup of the launcher, pull it all the way back to the floor and release it. They should measure the distance the marshmallow travels and repeat this several times until a consistent distance is obtained. Now have them remove the pencil, repeat the procedure, and describe what happens this time. Isaac Newton was such an important scientist, be sure to have the students read the section on Newton on page 50. Students should note how Galileo and Newton went about studying these things in nature compared to Aristotle. They should especially note that Newton spoke freely about his faith in the Bible and the work of the Creator. Some scientists today avoid any mention of creation or creator because they believe everything that happens or has happened in the past has a natural explanation and that there is no place in science for anything supernatural like creation. That was certainly not what Isaac Newton believed.